Spores are inherently dirty. They just are, even if you're getting the best spores. And if you're working with the spore prints that you created, they are dirty. There is contamination, and that's okay. The point is, you put the spores to agar, and we recommend that when you're working with spores, you do a water agar. It's just purified water and agar, so there's no sugars or nutrients for contamination to feed on. And it's a little bit slower grow for your spores in the water agar, or you can do an incredibly light MEA. And that way you give your spores the opportunity to grow out on the agar plates. And then you can transfer those, eliminating contamination. Every time you do a transfer to a new plate, you're eliminating contamination. And then once you have these plates, that have a rhizomorphic growth, again, antlers, the branches, very white and thick, you can put those to your grain. So I wanted to show you that we actually used this grow kit when we first got started as an experiment, and we used spores. And so it's really interesting looking through the directions and kind of where we started. And we started with inoculating a bag like this. So the kit came with a syringe. However, we didn't use the syringe because we didn't have any liquid culture we didn't have any mycelium. And so what we were able to do was order liquid spores. So it's spores and liquid. So we ordered syringes of spores for all the mushrooms we wanted to grow. And at the beginning, we inoculated these grain bags through a kit. And it took so long to inoculate that grain bag. It really did, but it colonized. So we allowed it, the, spur, the spores to germinate in the bag. And once that colonized, then we moved it to the substrate. And once the substrate colonized, then we had fruiting conditions. And again, the spores were just not something that we wanted. So if you receive, no matter how you get your spores, whether it's in, in the liquid, in a syringe, you know, there's so many ways that spores come, and you can also make a spore print yourself with foil. So when you have a spore, no matter how you have it, you can simply put it to an agar dish, an agar plate, and no pour jar like we have in here, and allow your spore to grow out to mycelium. You can also clone fresh or wet fruits. That's right, you can. So no matter what mushroom you're wanting to grow, if you could get your hands on a wet, a fresh version of that, you can clone that. So whether you have the wet or fresh mushroom, you can clone. Whether you have the spores, you can turn the spores into mycelium. And that's what we recommend because you're gonna be so much happier with the fruits from mycelium.